this video we're going to go over the settings in thinkorswim mobile application if you haven't already gotten this application you can download it for ios at the at the app store and for android at google play so let's take a look at the settings here click on the bottom more informate for me you may have moved it but settings icon you can group accounts a group by accounts you can set your default account to whatever I happen to have two my default accounts my margin account you can this is on a Apple this is the Apple uh, app here so I don't know if Android has touch ID or not but you can turn that on if you want you can control your notification sounds and your push notification settings where you want your push not and, and uh, notifications going to and you, the devices that receive them you can control what your theme looks like you can invert colors choose your language your calculation I just use the default on that watch list mark corporate actions this is you can anywhere from never to eight weeks from now i have mine set to four weeks from now but i want to show you something about that just because you set it here doesn't necessarily mean it shows up on your chart you got to do one more thing and then you got your user agreement and if you ever need to get in touch with think or swim your version numbers right here they'll want they'll want that at the very bottom okay so you set your corporate actions you know so you can see earnings uh dividends whatever but to get that on your chart you got to do one more thing so we're going to select symbol for my my watch list we'll go open up the chart and you'll notice if i set it to my daily chart what is that one year one day you'll notice there, there are no corporate actions at the bottom and the reason for this is you actually have to set it with your styles so you tap on your chart once let's do this again tap on your chart once to open it up and we're going to select one year one week no excuse me that's not what we're going to select we're going one year one day so let's check tap on styles again edit styles new style and speed up uh, one year daily and we're going to set the time frame daily one year one day and we're, we're done for now so we got the one year one day okay so let me go back you still see no no uh, corporate actions here tap on the chart let me first get this right there we go and we'll tap on styles tap on the settings by the one year one day and we want to turn on calendar events and let me see our expansion area is going to be on i want to set it to 45 bars to the right And that should be it. The calendar events is on there. So we're done. And there we go. You'll notice that your dividends, your earnings events, now show up on your daily chart. So remember, even though you're in settings and you select show corporate events, it doesn't actually show until you put it on the time frame on the chart using the styles. You can do it on any time frame. I just put on the year daily. If I want to look real quick, I can just switch over to that particular time frame. But I go on back to the one day, one minute. It's where I'm normally at. Expand that out some. You can span and contract your chart by putting your fingers on and expanding and contracting them just by laying them on the chart. Okay, that's about it. It's very simple. If you got something from this video, 
uh, you learned something, how about subscribing? I could use subscribers. Uh, leave me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If there's something you want to know in uh, Thinkorswim Mobile, let me know in the comments. I'll make a video. Have a good day.